Hello friend, Jim here with JP's Big Adventure coming to you from Lake Chapala, Mexico. And in today's video, what I'm doing is I'm sharing with you of an important subject I've actually had viewers actually ask about, and that is tipping. What's tipping like here at Lake Chapala? Well, let me first of all start by saying this, and that is if you find this valuable information coming to you and it's something that you really like, I'd like to encourage you if you haven't already to go ahead and subscribe to the channel because each and every video that we bring out, we bring out valuable content that if you're looking at coming to, visiting, or even retiring to Lake Chapala, you're going to find very, very valuable. And this video will be no different. Great information here for you, too. So, about tipping. The minimum wage here in Mexico is 172.87 pesos. Now, to bring that into U.S. dollars, that's about $8 a day. So, the, the minimum wage in Mexico is about $8, 8 U.S. dollars a day. That means that they're having to live on $160 a month. So, tipping really important, and I'm going to share with you why that is with some of these examples of the different services you might be re uh, getting. And let's first of all talk about eating out. If you've got between one to five or so people in your party, you want to make sure that you're tipping at least 10% of the meal. If you've got six and above in your party, I would encourage you to look more towards 15 to 20% of the meal. Um, if they're giving you good service, that's really important. And I will just tell you that we find that the Mexican people are really hard workers. Um, I think one of the things that that we see as a culture being in the States is that maybe they're on the lazier side. And I just got to tell you, any of the individuals, I don't care if it's the gardener that does all the gardening around our place or even the maid that we have come over, any of the services, I'm absolutely amazed of how much effort and how hard the Mexico people work. And so I really appreciate their efforts. And that's why I'm sharing with you a little bit of the extras of some of these things at uh, points I'm making. So for a bartender, if you're sitting at a bar and you're having a drink, I would encourage you to tip at least 15% of the bill or 10 pesos per glass or mug of whatever it is that you're having, wine or beer. If you're at one of the locations where there is valet, now there's not a whole lot of it here at Lake Chapala, but there are some places, some restaurants might have a valet set up. Um, what you're going to want to do is, is actually tip between two and five pesos for that service. Now, taxis, the drivers don't necessarily expect a tip, but if they help you with bags, in other words, getting bags into the trunk, taking the bags out. Um, it's worth tipping about 10 pesos per bag. Now, that would also agree to if you're at the, if you're at the uh, hotel, checking into a hotel or an Airbnb. Let's talk about maid service. Now, the thing about maid service is the same thing it's in the States. But it might not be the same maid every night that's taking care of your room. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to tip at least 20 pesos a night. That's a dollar. That's a U.S. $1 bill. And that way, each of the individuals that are doing housekeeping, they get rewarded for the extra effort they're putting into your room. If you desire to go to one of the spas in town, it's about a 15 to 20 peso that you'll want to tip them for the services that they provide, uh, whether it be um, spa services, whether it be hot baths, whether it be uh, mud baths. I mean, whatever it may be, that's what you want to make sure that you're tipping them. Now, some things that are different here in, in Mexico than there are in the States. You could be parked at one of the grocery stores. You could be parked at the parking lot at Walmart. You could be parking at one of the restaurants. You will invariably see all over the place these guys that got these five-gallon buckets with water in them and towels. 
Because here it's very customary that the Mexican people, what they do is, those that are more on the entrepreneurial side, is they actually wash cars. So if you actually go to a restaurant, you're going to find there's probably some individuals that might be there that are looking to wash your car. Now, it, it's a service they provide. They, they don't realize it. They realize that not everybody's going to say, yes, I want to have my car washed. So if you do not, all you got to say is just no gracias, which just means no thank you. And But if you would like... Normally, it's going to be about 50 pesos. And what they do is they take the rag and they literally get the whole car wet. And what they do is they go and dry the whole car off. And you see that quite a bit here in Mexico. Uh, I know that even at church, at the church we attend, there's a guy there and he actually goes and does the cars there in the parking lot. So that would be a decision that you, that you would make. But that's about what you want to be tipping them to, for the complete job. And airport shuttle is about when they're taking you to and from, it's going to be about 20 pesos per bag. Um, you know, it could be between 10 and 20 pesos per bag, depending on because you're traveling, you're flying away, or maybe so that may be heavier and such. And so 10 to 20 pesos per bag. Now, another thing is too, when you go to get gas here, it's not self service. Here, when you get gas in Mexico, there are attendants at each one of the pumps. Now, when you get your gasoline, if you'll ask them, Olympia, window, ventana, what they'll do is they'll actually clean your front and back window. Um, they can also put air in your tires. There's things that they're willing to do as they're pumping the gas for you. And so those are one of the things that you could actually tip them two to five pesos each time you go to get gas and if you have them, well, I would say two to five pesos anyway, um, even if they don't clean, but if they do clean, at least you'll know that uh, they did something for you and they felt like they were deserving of that. And also different here too, and as when you go to the grocery store, when you go, they're not just going to have bags for you. In other words, when you go to Walmart, you got to bring your own bags. There are grocery stores where you got to take your own bags, but then there's those that you go to that there could be an elderly person, there could be a young kid, there could be a senior citizen that you could just tell that is, is needing the money, and they're bagging your groceries for you. This might be one of the one of the grocery stores uh, I can think of right now, one El Torito, and there's someone there that's bagging, and they might even be a little bit on the physically handicapped. Well, there's some folks that do some of the bagging that really aren't able to do other jobs. And so, and they don't get paid an hourly wage. They're there and they live on those tips. So giving them two to five pesos for bagging your groceries is a fair deal. Now, remembering that when we come to Mexico, we're the guests. This is Mexico, it's their country. And what's really important is to be very, very grateful for things that they do, even if you're not speaking the language. You still want to be very, very grateful for the service they provide. Because I just said they do work hard and they work hard for their money. And you just want to make sure to let them know that you appreciate them. And I will tell you that your event, whatever it is that you're doing, is just going to you're going to find somebody that gives you a big smile and says, gracias. So you've made an impact in that person's day. You've done a little something special that others might not have done, but it's your way of showing kindness and that you appreciate who they are. Well, I hope this has come as being valuable for you, being helpful. Maybe you're on your way right now to Lake Chapala, whatever it may be, and this is kind of a quick video you're seeing, but tipping, it's an important thing here in Mexico. Now, if you haven't already, I'd like to encourage you to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It's a great community, and we'd love to have you be a part of that. Also, give us a thumbs up. That lets YouTubers, other folks that are on YouTube looking at videos about Mexico, about Lake Chapala, about tipping about going to the restaurant them being able to find the videos that they're looking for and by you giving a thumbs up on this video and liking it that helps them be able to find the videos that they're looking for also and we love hearing from you if you'd like to communicate with us feel free to do that because we will respond and also on top of that make sure you wouldn't hit the bell because that will notify you immediately when one of our next videos come out. So with that, I just want to let you know, thank you so much for being a part of this video. We really appreciate you. Have an awesome day. We'll see you on the next video.